Hey guys, I'm Jared A. Brown, and today I want to talk about how we can grab a Photoshop file, a PSD, all right, and grab it, put it in a program that converts it to a PDF, and then put it in Canva. This is especially, especially convenient for people who are beginners who have never used Photoshop before and get really confused or overwhelmed by it. And everybody loves Canva because it's so super friendly, right? Well, let's get at it. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. So with no further ado, let's go over to a website called Free Pick. All right, I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how this is done. Here we go. So go to Free Pick. All right, that's F R E E P I K dot com. Free Pick dot com. All right, so when you're here at Free Pick dot com. You can download a bunch of different PSD files, all right? There's templates. So what I would recommend is on the left-hand side right here, click on free so it's only showing you the free ones. And that way you can just easily just grab one that you like that's free. For example, let's say for let's say we go down and we want to try out this one right here. So we download this one, all right? It's going to come up here after you click on it. Green button, download. Just click on free download. Really simple, all right? So now it's downloading to my computer. Here we go. All right, so I've extracted it. I'm going to stop sharing my screen from this site, and we're going to go to a different site, all right? So... Now, all right, we've downloaded it. I've got, I've extracted the PSD. It's in a zip file and I've extracted it. Now it's on my computer extracted. And now I can grab it and go over to Photopea or Photop. All right. So now we're going to share my screen. I'm going to show you how we do that. A, photo and then P, P-E-A, like the vegetable. So you're going to find that and you're going to click on, on that. And now it's going to send us over to Photo P. All right. So now we're on Photo P looks nearly identical and it works in a very, well, almost an identical way that Photoshop does. But it's all online. It's all online. So you don't have to download a separate software or app or anything like that. But for this for the purpose of showing you how this is done, all right, I'm going to click on open from my computer because I'm going to be taking that file that I extracted, that PSD, which stands for Photoshop. Okay, here we go. Photoshop document, the PSD. It's going to be on my desktop. I made it really simple to find. All right, here we go. Summary of services. Okay. And today's date. Okay. There we go. All right. So now I'm opening it up. Here we go. That's the PSD file. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. All right. For some reason, I thought it was on my desktop. It's not. It's on my, it's actually on in my downloads. All right. So we're going to go to my downloads. No worries. Okay. Here we go. I found it.
Here we go. It's loading up. All right, it's going to take a moment to load, but here it goes. All right, there it is. Okay, as you can see, now it's going to be a little small, but as you can see, um, everything is here. Okay, everything that I wanted is there. And what I'll do is I'm simply going to go to the left-hand side all right, on the left-hand side of Photo P, you're going to see the File button in the left-hand corner, top left-hand corner. Scroll down and find Export As. And then scroll to the right and make sure that you pick PDF. We're going to export this as a PDF file. Uh, it's going to be downloaded as a PDF. All right, here we go. So let's name this um, how I hit. All right, because it's part of what it says there on the thumbnail. I click save. Now it's actually downloaded as a PDF on my computer. Okay. All right, so here's the next step. This is super simple. All right, so now, again, um, this is this is going to be by far and away uh, my favorite part because we've, just as a summary, we've taken, we've gone to free pick. We've found a template that we like that's free, that's a PSD, a Photoshop document. We've downloaded it. We've put in photo P, exported it as a PDF, downloaded the PDF onto the computer, and now we're going to take it to Canva. All right, so now we're just going to go over to Canva, and we're going to make sure we use PDF that we downloaded and put it in Canva. All right, so to do that, we're going to have to upload that PDF file, all right? So again, this is you can do this with the free version of Canva. It doesn't even have to be the paid version. All right. So now when we're here in Canva, little right hand corner of the purple banner, click on upload. Okay. Choose files. It's going to choose a file from my computer, your computer. Pick or choose the PDF that you converted open all right now it's it's now importing that pdf to canva all right so now i can go into a brand new design and i can choose that as my uploaded file all right okay here we go See right down here, it reads recent designs. It's almost finished importing. See this little bar is going from left to right. It's almost finished. Once it's finished, I can actually choose that. Here we go. Boom. I'm clicking on it. And this is where the magic happens. Everything, all the layers from that Photoshop document that we found from freepick.com. And then we exported it as a PDF from Photo P. And now we have it in Canva. All right, here we go. So now, as you can see, we have it all here. Isn't this cool? So there you go, the different layers. All right, so if I wanted to change this photo, of this person so it's not the woman maybe i want to put my own photo there if i want to change the colors you can do that all here all the layers are here and it's super easy friendly it's so easy to change things in canva there you go boom so 
excited that I can share this and show you how to do it. If you have questions, if you like this video, if you like what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button. Drop me a comment if you found this helpful. Let me know and have a blessed day. Bye. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go.